हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेल माय नेम इज़ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अनिकेत अशोक सुनसुरकर आई एम फ्रॉम बैचलर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू चैप्टर इन द जीएसटी एंड दैट गॉन टू बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ लेवी एंड कलेक्शन ऑफ टैक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस विद द वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लेवी एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कलेक्शन एज यू नो वेरी वेल लाइक दैट कि टैक्स it is the most important and core aspect of our indian economy the most of the development factor are depend upon the tax then who is the person that levy the tax and who is the person that collect the tax we will exactly going to see this in this chapter so here i am giving the some break up of the first of all the tax so the chapter name is levy and collection of tax and here under this chapter we are going to study the all the indirect taxation aspect as you know very well like that ki gst has been a further classified in the four different structure cgst sgst igst and utgst cgst stands for central goods and service tax that is applicable on supplies within a states means say for example if the supplier is from maharashtra and the recipient is from the gujarat okay this cgst is not applicable because this kind of example called as the interstate of transactions so cgst is basically applicable for the intra state only that means like that ki supplier need to be a part of the maharashtra only and the recipient is also to be a part of the maharashtra the second point about the cgst tax collected will be share to the center means whatever the collection under the cgst that will be share completely to the center part next second point the in, uh, in respect of the structure of gst sgst sgst stand for state goods and service tax which is applicable on supplies within the state means whatever the provision is applicable for the central goods and service tax that the same provision gonna to be apply for the state goods and service tax also that tax should be collected and the share with the state only next the most important structure the most important point igst igst stands for integrated goods and service tax that gonna to be apply on interstate transaction even along with the interstate import of transactions as you see over here tax collected will be share between central and state means whatever collection received under the igst that collection should be divided in uh, some part in the state central and the some part in the state next the most important part the last part of the structure of the gst is stand for the utgst utgst stands for the union territory goods and service tax applicable on supplies within the union territories as you know very well like that ki uh, few ter union territories are available in, in india if they are supply within the state then that utgst is applicable on the union territory tax that tax should be collected and will be the share to entire union territories so these are over here i am explaining the entire structure of the gst next we move for the next part i am showing as i told you earlier like that i am showing here the two important pictures as you seen in the first picture the supplier is from mumbai and the recipient is from chennai so my dear student what should we call this this kind of transaction we called as the interstate transactions because the supplier is in from mumbai and the recipient is from chennai as you see in the next picture the supplier is from mumbai and the recipient is from nagpur both the city has been situated in the state of maharashtra therefore we should called as the interstate transactions here my dear student i am sharing uh, some learning outcomes that will be uh, described by the ic institutes so after studying this chapter you will able to understand the taxable event under the gst the most important part is part is this chapter second part understand the meaning and meaning of supply and scope of supply third the most important part identify the transaction that will be treated as supply even if it is, it is made without the consideration in short that is called as a schedule 1
द नेक्स्ट लर्निंग आउटकम आइडेंटिफाई द ट्रांजेक्शन दैट विल बी ईदर नाइदर सप्लाय ऑफ गुड्स नॉर द सप्लाय ऑफ सर्विसेस बेसिकली इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ शेड्यूल टू एक्टिविटीज शेड्यूल टू शेड्यूल थ्री क्लासिफाई द स्पेसिफाई ट्रांजेक्शन ईदर सप्लाय ऑफ गुड्स और सप्लाय ऑफ सर्विसेस सो हियर माई डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिज एवरी कंटेंट इन डिटेल लेट्स वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द एक्जैक्टली मीनिंग ऑफ टैक्सेबल इवेंट ओके सी आई एम गिविंग दिस टैक्सेबल इवेंट एग्जाम्पल इन अ टू डिफरेंट फॉर्म एज यू सीन इन अ प्रीवियस टैक्स सिस्टम द एक्साइज ड्यूटी इज चार्ज एट द टाइम ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वैट is charged at the time of sales and service tax is charged at the time of service rendered this going to be happen in previous tax system but what exactly happen in a gst gst the taxable event under the gst supply of goods or services means when supplier is liable to supply the goods or services at that time gst will charge hence in short No, it means no supply no gst that is called as a taxable event under the gst that is a first learning outcome i have been covered over here that is what is the meaning of taxable event so again i am repeating in previous tax system excise duty is charged at the time of supply at the time of manufacture vat is charged at the time of sales and service tax is charged at the time of service rendered but after the introduction of the gst all this tax has been subsumed by the government and the one nation one tax regime has been applied throughout the nation throughout the india that is called as a gst and gst my dear student is applicable on supply of goods or services it means no supply no gst further the next part the concept of supply here i am going to explain what is the exactly meaning of supply because as i told you earlier in gst tax system no supply no gst that means if you are not doing any kind of supply no gst will be charged and there is a nothing collection in respect of the gst so in the next concept i am going to explain you the concept of supply under section 7 as you seen on the screen over here i am explaining you section 7 the meaning and scope of supply section 8 taxability of composite and mixed supply schedule 1 activities to be treated as supply means we called as a supply even if it is made without consideration schedule 2 activities or transactions treated as a supply of goods or services means we here we need to treated as see, see this kind of goods this kind of activity is called as a goods and this kind of activity called as a supply of services and schedule 3 activities or transaction which shall be treated neither as a supply of goods and nor called as a supply of services so on the next slide i am going to give a detailed introduction what is the meaning of supply as you know very well like that section 7 deals with the meaning of supply so what exactly the meaning of supply see as been i am making the five different point in respect of the supply the first point all forms of supply of goods or services okay that include transfer barter exchange license rental disposal made with consideration that is called as the supply means if i am going to sell anything if i am going to transfer anything if i am going to barter exchange anything but with consideration that point is really much important my dear student so that is called as the supply only means without consideration we we cannot proceed any kind of transactions so for the supply definition include do all these transaction with consideration only for in the course of furtherance of business second point as you see over here the transaction basically called as a furtherance of business means any activities or any transaction we carried out for the furtherance of business that is basically called as the supply third and the most important point import of services means if i am going to import any kind of services that should be the part of the supply fourth the most important schedule 1 as i told you earlier like that ki schedule 1 means what 
activities there are the some activities that to be treated as a supply even if it is made without consideration sir what is the meaning of without consideration as you told over here in supply ki sir do the transfer do the barter do the exchange license rental lease and disposal but all these need to be made with consideration only and schedule one say like that ki there are some activities to be treated as supply even if it is made without consideration don't worry my dear student i am going to give a detailed explanation in respect of schedule one means there are going we are going to see some activities activities means transaction there are some activities that transactions has been given that made without consideration and if it is made without consideration even we are going to called as the supply and the third and the most important point that include in the definition of supply that is called as the schedule 2 means here we are going to see the activities or transaction to be treated as a supply of goods or services means basically there are given some kind of some activities of goods and there are given some activities of services we just need to recognize whether it is a supply of goods or whether it is called as a supply of services so my dear student these five points are to be a part of the supply and that gonna to be a very much important in respect of the supply so again i am revise this five points very shortly what exactly include in supply the first all forms of supply of goods or services means any kind of supply any kind of services but that need to be a made with the consideration only if there is a no receiving any kind of money then how can i uh, further how can i do the furtherance of business so my dear student this is the first point that gonna to be included in respect of the supply second any kind of transaction that are required to in the course of furtherance of business third schedule one activities fourth schedule two activities and the most important import of services so these five points are to be a part of the supply and the most important point my dear student that is called as a schedule 3 schedule 3 is never to be a part of the supply because there are some transaction there are some activities we never gonna to be a called as a supply of goods and supply of services so therefore the schedule 3 has been excluded from the definition of supply here i am showing a smart picture in respect of the supply as you see over here supply includes sale transfer barter exchange uh, license rental lease or disposal but that should be a made with the for consideration and in the course or furtherance of business here i am going to give a small example and the most important example in respect of what is the exactly meaning of sale in gst and what is the exactly meaning of transfer in gst so as you see over here sales means a sale of goods made with the state for cash or other valuable consideration means for a very example i am giving a very good example over here ki mr x sold a laptop worth rupees 50000 and issue invoice in favor of mr y now the ownership of that laptop okay that should be transferred to mr x to mr y so such transaction shall be called as a my dear student sale so the most important point in respect of the sale you need to be a keep remember over here any mortgage any hypothecation any charge or pledge is not called as a supply hence GST will not be levied. As I told you earlier, my dear student, over here, if I can make anything, I can sell anything, I can provide any kind of services. But the most important point, okay, the consideration should be a receivable. So here I am explaining you the what is the meaning of supply. In the next session, I'll definitely share with you schedule one activities, schedule two activities, and schedule three activities. Thank you so much.